Babe, do we have any rice? I dropped my phone in the computer again. Stop right there, criminal scum! Stop right there. Don't use rice. Here's what you do instead. So you dropped your phone in some water. You've water damaged it. What do you do? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to take a paper towel or a microfiber cloth and you want to remove as much water as you possibly can from the device. Power off the device. You can use some isopropyl alcohol. The Lord's cleaning chemical. 70% works, 91% works, 50% is just adding more water. Apply it to your cloth. Wipe it down externally. Dry it with a dry part of your cloth. And now what? Well, this is where most people get to and they grab the bag of rice. That's it for me. Rice is useless. So, rice is going to have pretty much the same humidity as the air around it. So it's going to accelerate the drying marginally at best. What you want to do is grab yourself a bag like so, sandwich bag. Any Ziploc bag works as long as your phone fits in it. And what you're going to want is to save these every single time you open a pair of shoes, a new tool, your waifus, whenever you buy electronics, your mom's blender, other things your mom buys. You get these silica gel packets here. You want to save these in a bag. Or, you know, run to the closet and open up that shoe box that you happen to have kicking around and see if you've got some of these, because you're going to want them. So you save a whole bunch of these in a bag like this. And you take your soaking iPhone, or Android phone, or whatever you might have dunked, or dripped, or gotten ever so wet, and you throw it in there with those. One other recommendation I have there is to grab yourself a paper clip or a SIM pick if you happen to save your phone's box uh, and still know where that might be. I've got one right here in our iFixit, um, what is that, 124 bit kit? I, don't, I forget how many bits are in there. So I'm going to take our little SimPick bit, and before you drop it in your bag of uh, silica gels here, what I recommend is just popping that SIM tray like so. Now, uh, at this point, you would remove your SIM card and put it in your backup phone that you should have. Always have a backup. And then you can reinsert that tray without your SIM card. Partially like that. And that will let the inside of the phone breathe and will let the silica gel work its desiccant action on the internals of your phone. The next thing I recommend after uh, putting it in there to dry don't try to charge it, don't try to power it on. Take it to a professional for water damage recovery. If there's any minerals from your water, corrosion, or other, you know, liquid damage on the board of your phone, powering your phone on or charging it could cause further damage to the phone. So turn it off, don't try to charge it, just get it really, really dry. This kit packs will dry out the air inside this bag, which you want to seal very firmly. And then you have a higher concentration inside your phone than outside, and the high concentration wants to escape, so that's why we open the SIM card tray, which breaks the seal of the phone. See the gasket on there? And that'll let the water slowly get absorbed into the silica gels. The next thing I recommend is going to your local repair shop and having them do water damage recovery, or you can mail it here at ADR. We do water damage recovery. Uh, the way we do so is we fully disassemble the phone and clean all the components to ensure uh, we've prevented as much damage as possible. And then we will uh, professionally and carefully test absolutely every functionality of the phone and kind of let you know what you're looking at. Um, some water damage repairs 
could be very expensive and timely. Some water damage repairs are in no trouble found. So the pricing for professional water damage recovery can be anywhere from $30, just to diagnose and ensure that there's nothing wrong with the device, all the way up to about $300. If there's important data on that phone that you absolutely need, it will not boot. You know, you've got logic board damage, shorted components and corrosion. It could be several days of work. Um, water damage is... You really don't know till you get in there. Once you dunk this in water... Oh yeah, it's water resistant. But once you dunk it in there, you really don't know what you're going to find inside your phone. I've seen... All kinds of things. I've seen nearly perfect, pristine looking logic boards that seem completely undamaged that have come in for uh, water damage repairs. And I've also seen logic boards that are water damaged that look like they've been smoking meth. Let me give you a good example here. In my uh, massive collection of phones over here. I have... Where is he? Here it is. Here's a water damaged device. You can tell the seal has been compromised because there is crust and dirt and residue underneath the camera lens. Fog on the inside of the camera lens, or just crust and dirt, tends to be an indicator of liquid damage or an improperly sealed device. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the SIM card tray on this one. We'll take a look at our liquid damage indicator, which is located on the screen side, inside the SIM card tray. It's kind of hard to get a good look at. I might need to grab a flashlight for you. The liquid damage indicator is missing on this screen, which means it is not the original screen for this phone. But if you'd like to mail your device in for liquid damage recovery or water damage repair to advanced device repair, all the links for that are in the description. Just go ahead and throw it in with as many silica gels as you can possibly find. One or two is better than none. Wrap this in bubble wrap or foam, and put it in a reasonable sized shipping box. I'd recommend going to your local post office for packing materials, or you can go to the USPS website and get free packing materials, same with UPS, or just recycle those Amazon boxes that you have uh, been procrastinating taking out to the recycling bin. <clears throat> I do that too. Leave the rice in the cupboard. Leave it in the cupboard. Rice is for delicious food, not for your iPhone. All that rice will really do is get you a very dirty charging port. If we find rice in your charging port, we're going to charge you $15 extra. I'm just kidding. And a filthy, disgusting phone. Like this one. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if those flakes under the camera were pieces of rice.